Okay, so we just got our order of ginger and turmeric in from the organicfarmmarket.com and we're going to begin the process of what it takes to convert this amazing organic ginger and organic turmeric into uh, our own garden uh, for growing our own organic or if you just want to grow naturally that's fine but I always prefer organic but we'll learn how to successfully plant ginger and turmeric in our own gardens so that we can harvest our own growings and you should always be planting something in your garden so let's take a look at what we got from the organicfarmmarket.com Here is about uh, one pound of ginger, and organic ginger. And as you can see, it's in you know really healthy, amazing shape, very fresh. And um, so we, when we get this in, what we want to do is just clean it up a little bit, and then we're going to rinse it off in the sink here. We're going to put it in a plastic bag, and we're going to put it in the refrigerator. <clears throat> the reason we do that is because we want to trick the uh, ginger or uh, turmeric into that it's in a dormant stage, like winter. So, uh, and yes, you can grow turmeric and ginger anywhere, just about anywhere in the world. So inside, outside, it grows. It's a very hardy uh, root. So, uh, so the reason, again, that we take the ginger, we just wash it off to add some moisture to it. We put it into a plastic bag, and we put it in our refrigerator for about three to four months. And the reason we're doing that is we just want to trick it that it's went through uh, winter, and it's now springtime when you take it out of the refrigerator and it warms up. It will begin to bud. All these little ends right here will begin to bud. And when it buds, that's the time that we will plant it in our um, containers or outside gardens or even inside garden if you like. So let's take a look at what it looks like when it's budding. So you can see right here, that's a bud. It's like a yellow protrusion that starts to grow out of the turmeric. And here's another one over here. So after it sits in the refrigerator for about you know three to four weeks, we take it out, we rinse it off again, uh, just to add some water uh, to it. And then when it gets water, it's like, oh, it's springtime. <laughs> and it begins to do these buds. And that is actually what will grow out of and create your leaves uh, for your turmeric. So you wanna be looking for that because that will tell you that it's time to plant. So three to four weeks in the refrigerator to create dormancy, then take it out, rinse it off again, and then just set it aside. You could put it in a plastic bag or leave it out, uh, just sitting on your counter. This one was in a plastic bag, and I kind of prefer plastic bags. It, I think it creates like a greenhouse. And then just keep an eye on it every couple days, just see if it's budding. And once it's budding, then we'll go out and turmeric and ginger really grows great in pots, and, you know, big pots. So today we're gonna, you know, pot it up. I'll tell you what kind of soil I use. Uh, what my mix is, I have a special mix, and uh, and of course, at the link below, I'll put everything that we use in this video in the link below, so you don't have to go try to find all this on your own and get the best prices, we do all that for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and visiting and watching our videos at the Miller Family Farm Trust channel. We really appreciate you. <laughs> we love what we do, and I don't know if you know this or not, but... YouTube only starts paying you when you hit 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, the average video takes about one hour of prep time, one hour of scripting, one hour of recording, and two hours of editing, and one hour of finding the best prices on all the materials. So really, one simple video, about 10 or 15 minutes long, actually ends up being a whole day's work. And we love doing this, no complaints. But it's just a shame we don't get paid anything. And this is how you can help. You can subscribe and like the video and put a comment because YouTube looks at all those about how much they're going to pay you. So if you do all three, we get paid. And we're doing a challenge that we hit 1,000 subscribers in the next 30 days. And you could help a lot just by simply clicking subscribe now. It costs you nothing, but man, does it help us. And we would, we love doing these videos, but someday we'd really like to get paid for the hundreds and hundreds of hours of video time that we put in on these. So 
So thank you, family. Thank you in advance for just clicking subscribe, hitting the like button, and hitting the bell so you get future videos. And we do everything outdoors. We do farming. We do a cattle, grass-fed beef, pastured pork. We do uh, pastured chickens, pastured turkeys, 4x4 four four trucks, side-by-sides, quads. Everything outdoors is what we do here on this channel. So if you love everything outdoors, then you're going to love our channel. Okay, click subscribe now. Thank you. And then we're going to go outside and... Okay, well, here we are. This is my little planting station. And we're going to uh, plant up about one pound of ginger this morning. I recommend getting three pounds of ginger. And this is the reason why. It takes one month of dormancy in your refrigerator before you can plant it. And then uh, it takes about three months of growing before you can harvest it, three to four months. Uh, so you want to keep your cycle going. Buy three pounds, like use one pound for yourself or your smoothies or cooking. One pound in a refrigerator going into dormancy. Keep the other pound. And as soon as you take out the one pound for dormancy, put the other one pound in a refrigerator. Uh, and then you could just keep on cycling it. So in a little bit, we will show you... Uh, different, you know, how we have our three-stage setup for, uh, for ginger and turmeric so that uh, we always have fresh ginger and turmeric available for harvest. And I know you probably want that too, so we're going to show you today. All right, this is a pretty, this is a pretty simple process. And we believe in growing organically. So even if you're in the city, you can grow organically. And we start with uh, natural and organic compost to cow manure. So uh, I'll put links below, links below so you know exactly what to get for my special mix for ginger and turmeric. So this by itself is probably a little too aggressive as far as potency uh, for ginger and turmeric. So we're going to mix that with several things. And I tried to get or organic peat moss today from uh, Home Depot, but they didn't have any organic peat moss. So we're going to substitute that. Actually, you should put this in there anyways with brown leaves. We're going to mix this with just, uh, this is our old pot of dirt that was already had, you know, everything in it, our special mix. So we're going to mix uh, the manure with our old, old dirt because this might be a little depleted, but we don't want to throw it out because we have good contents in here. And then we're going to mix it about 25% with dry leaves and turn that up real well. Ginger likes good draining soil and it likes moisture it's kind of like a tropical uh plant even though it could be growing anywhere that's what it likes and then we're going to put it all in this pot and then we're going to put the ginger right in there so uh let's see here let's begin so i'm just going to take a handful of these leaves and drop it right in the bottom of this to... so uh and then, this is the cow, organic cow manure. And you can put gloves on if you want to, but I think everything is natural and I don't think we need gloves. <laughs> I know some people might think that's a little gross. So we're doing about half, I'd say about a third in the bucket here. And if we had organic peat moss, we would put about a third of the organic peat moss in there. And we're going to turn this up a little bit, mix those leaves in. It's about creating um, organic matter in your dirt. I like to incorporate local dirt so that if you're going to be replanting your organic ginger or turmeric to, you know, for future crops, that it gets used to your specific dirt. So I put about one third of our natural dirt, and plus it's free. It's free, <laughs> that helps. I really believe in growing organically. It doesn't cost that much more, and we get so many chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, and all that from all the foods that we eat at the grocery stores. I really believe in growing organic, and that means you have to buy organic ginger. Don't start with just the ginger you buy out of the store, if you can even find it. It's hard to find, uh, but start with good organic ginger, good organic manure, natural leaves off of your property. When you start with good materials, you get good, healthy crops. I turned this up all really well so it's all mixed together because ginger likes drainage. It likes water. It, it wants to be watered lightly every day. 
but it really likes drainage. So when you give it water every day and it drains every day, you will have some good, healthy ginger, organic ginger and organic turmeric. Okay, and again, <clears throat> we're gonna put the links down below for the manure at Home Depot, the, you know, the codes, uh, the barcode and all that so that you can easily order it. And they'll take it out to your car and you can pick it up curbside if you like. Okay, so now that the dirt's all done, you notice that I'm about an inch below the top. And the reason is, this is about a 14 inch pot. You wanna give it plenty of room to grow the roots, the ginger roots. You don't want to have a really short pot, like an eight inch pot or something like that. This is about 12 inches wide and maybe 16 inches deep. And that's about as small as you want to go if you're going to grow ginger in a pot. And then I'm going to show you in a little bit here that I mix ginger in with our trees that are in pots and I'll show you that later. So our dirt's all ready. And then now we're just going to get, grab our ginger and start inserting it in the dirt. And if you remember, see the bud right there? We want to see how many buds are on here. This particular piece only has two buds. So we're going to break this in two so that we have two ginger plants. Where, where are the buds? Right there is one. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Hopefully we'll, we will succeed. Oh my goodness. All right, so there's one bud right there. And there's another bud right there. And the buds go bud up. <laughs> so we're just gonna push this down in the dirt just so that it's about a half inch below the surface. We're gonna take our other piece here with the bud on it, push it down about four inches away. So it's about an inch below the surface. And repeat, repeat, repeat. So we're gonna push this down. And I try to do it around the perimeters and then the last couple pieces I put in the center. go that was close to the other one that's all right a couple pieces in the center and uh, and then we're gonna water this in uh, pretty good the first time but then we're just gonna mist it every morning or every other morning just mist the the top just so it gets a light soaking like it just had a light rain shower and uh, and you should see this popping up in about I don't know uh, two to th two weeks maximum, maybe a week, a week to two weeks, something like that. You'll see the little green sprouts popping up through the dirt. So, and once you're there, you're in good shape. Okay, so in a minute, we're going to look at what it looks like uh, to have uh, the little sprouts popping up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like after a couple of weeks and what it looks like after like three or four months. Uh, and then when it's time to harvest. So we're going to show you everything. <laughs> Fresh planting to... Uh, to uh, crops that are a couple of weeks old to stuff that is almost ready to be harvested. Okay, hang on, we'll be right back. And uh, by the way, thank you for visiting again Miller Family Farm Trust channel here on YouTube. Please subscribe, subscribe and help us out. Help us meet our challenge of 1,000 subscribers so we can start to get paid on all these amazing videos. I know you love them. Just click now. Okay. Okay, so we're going to water in uh, our pot here and we're going to push those gingers just down below the surface. But the reason again that we left it one inch below the top, like really filled up with this pot, is because this uh, soil, because there's so much matter in it, um, is going gonna, is gonna to compact. So that's enough water. For sure. <laughs> so this so this uh, it's going to compact, and you can see it went from about one inch down to about two inches already. So the reason we want to fill uh, dirt almost all the way to the top is we want to give it lots of space for those roots to be able to grow. So when you uh, when you prepare your pot, make sure you fill it right to the top. Yeah, you know, within an inch or a half inch. And then when you soak it in, then it will, you know, compact down. So I'm going to push these gingers down just a little bit more, just below the surface. Oops. Just below the surface.
And there's so much leaves and stuff in here that it's actually spongy. And it should be spongy. That's the draining that we were talking about. So, okay. Well, so we'll give that about two to three weeks and it'll be popping up here very quickly. Next, we're going to look at what it looks like after it has popped through the surface and has grown for two or three weeks. Okay, so here's a pot right next to the one we just planted. And this is about, I don't know, two or three weeks old. This pot size is 14 inches tall by 16 inches wide. So a pretty good pot, about double the size of that pot, maybe a little bit more. And these little babies, some of this is turmeric and some of it's ginger. Actually, I think it's all ginger. But those little babies have been growing for about two to three weeks. Just to give you an idea how tall they are, they're about three, four, five inches tall. So that's what you can expect after you've grown them for, you know, two, three weeks, something like that. And depending on temperatures and all that, if you're growing inside or outside, you know, that varies. Obviously, the more sunlight, the better. Oh, by the way, I tried to put my ginger and turmeric in the shade. So, you know, just out of the way, you can see this is up against my wall where it doesn't get direct sunlight all day. It does love sunlight, but uh, if you just let it bake in the sunlight, it dries out all of the composted material. And I just like to keep it damp because... Ginger and turmeric just love being watered every morning. And All right, let's go take a look at uh, what it looks like after three months or so. So there is a big avocado tree in a big bucket. This bucket is 17 inches tall and 24 inches wide so a really good sized bucket and there is our avocado tree growing in that bucket I've got lots of things growing in this <laughs> I have some composting broccoli I didn't eat either I always throw that in because the more composting material in your pots better and there is a scallion another scallion there and then there is a ginger plant that ginger plant is right up against the tree is about 14 inches tall and here's our biggest ginger plant these are all planted at the same time in this pot and that is 38 and 32 inches tall so there's that ginger plant and then there's another ginger plant and that is about 21 inches tall so all those are planted at the same time believe it or not that's why I believe in shade, because that back one was getting more shade than the rest of them. You see that it grew quicker. So you kind of want to pay attention to your micro uh, growing areas. And if your turmeric grows better in shade, then try to find some shade for it. Or just put it up against your building. Or plant it with another a tree over top of it like we did in this pot. That it has covered by the tree that it's in. You can mix it with your other, your other plantables in your garden. And then what happens is, you see down here where it starts to turn brown? That is not from anything other than when, this, when the ginger is ready to harvest, that all those leaves will turn light brown. You'll know that you can just harvest it at that time. You just grab a hold the bottom, just pull it up, and the roots will come up one and all with the plant. And then you have your harvest. Fresh organic ginger is just amazing. So there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed our simple uh, process about how to successfully plant organic ginger and organic turmeric. And of course, uh, we get ours at the organicfarmmarket.com. And, uh, and it takes about maybe three or four days to get it. Stage one, plant it. Stage two, three to four inches tall a couple of weeks later. Stage three, Gigantic, <laughs> gigantic ginger plants, almost ready for harvest. Maybe another two or three weeks and those will be ready for harvest. And the thing you want to get is it takes some time to go from here to stage two to stage three. So that's why I said when you go on the organicfarmmarket.com, you want to get the three pound special. They give like, I don't know, five or 10% off. So you want to constantly be rotating your product out, in and out. And once you have 
your ginger root, your organic ginger root, just use the root that you take out. Like when you harvest it, just save some of that and repeat the process. So you really, if you do it properly, you only have to buy the ginger one time and then you just keep on using your root. And the benefit to that is because you know it's organic. You know what it's growing in uh, and it's yours and it grows good in your area. Every time it replants, it gets more adjusted to your growing area and grows better and better every time. I just want to thank you for, for I just want to thank you for you know, coming to the Miller Family Farm Trust channel. And uh, we love making these videos. I love everything outdoors. I know you do too, that's why you're watching. So make sure you subscribe, help us out. Help us meet the challenge of 1,000 subscribers in the next month so that we can start getting paid just a little bit <laughs> from YouTube on these videos. They take a lot of work, I do love it. And I, I know you love it too. So please support us, just click subscribe. Click the, uh, the bell button too so that you get notified when we put the next video up. And, uh, and leave a comment. Tell us how your organic uh, ginger and turmeric growing is, is going and if you have any tips or tricks for our family. Okay, thank you so much and we'll see you again very soon.